Why can't I talk? Hey everyone, today I am doing the Christmas Time is Here tag. It is a set of 13 questions all relating to Christmas and what you love about it. Um, I was tagged by Callie from But First Coffee on her blog. You should definitely check her out. She has a great blog and a YouTube channel. She makes great videos, so thank you for tagging me, Callie. Um, and like her, I am one of those crazy um, Christmas people who just loves everything about Christmas. Uh, so this tag was perfect for me to do, and I'm very excited. So let's get into the questions. Let's see, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? I feel like this is a really hard question because I like pretty much everything about Christmas. Um, one of my favorite things about Christmas actually though is wrapping presents. I know, a lot of people hate wrapping presents, but I love it. I pick out, I spend time picking out wrapping paper, I buy ribbons, I just, I just love it. I, and I ask people to give me their presents to wrap. Like, I will volunteer to wrap presents for you because it's just so much fun. I already have some under my tree, which is shaking because my cat is going to climb in it. So you guys might get to see that. Question number two. When you were a kid, what did you leave for Santa on Christmas Eve? Well, <laughs> we always left him cookies, of course, because we, would always, we always had lots of cookies. We would always bake cookies throughout the holiday season. So we always got cookies. But he also got wine and cheese at our house. Um, yes, Santa made out pretty good at our house every year. I don't know why we left him wine and cheese. Well, actually, now that I think of it, I'm sure that was for our parents. They probably thought of that, you know, to help them get through the whole leaving the presents under the tree. That was, yeah, clever, clever. We also did leave carrots outside for the reindeer, though. I remember every year um, on Christmas, we would leave carrots outside, you know, on the front steps or whatever. And then on Christmas morning, we would go outside and check, and there would be, like, the little bits and pieces and, like, the bite marks on the carrots to see that the reindeer ate them. So we always felt like that was we such a big deal. It was so funny. All right. <laughs> um, question number three. Do you and or your family have any Christmas traditions? A tradition in the more recent years, more since I've moved away, is we always get together on um, Christmas Eve and we give our family presents to each other. Because I still, my siblings are still younger, so they always, you know, they, they get little things, like at the dollar store they always get, but they always pick things that are so special that they really um, put thought into. And we give each other our own little, like, sibling presents, and that's always really fun. I always look forward to that. Um, so let's see. Number four. When decorating, do you go all out or do you just do a small amount of decorating? Um, well this year I've actually done a lot more decorating than I have in the past. As you can see, I have a full-size Christmas tree for the first time since I, um, have been on my own. I do have a little baby tree that I've had since I was a kid and it was always in my bedroom when I was a kid. And when I moved out a couple years ago, I've just used that as my tree because I lived in a few different um, places, small apartments and things. Um, but now I've lived here for over a year and I feel like I'm kind of settled here for a while at least. So I've got a full-size tree and I'm very excited. And I have some garlands hanging in the back and I have a little centerpiece. I mean, it's not too crazy, but it's definitely more than it's been. And whatever. Okay, number six. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Okay, I have a few favorite Christmas movies. Um, two are old movies with Bing Crosby. I love White Christmas and I love Holiday Inn. Although, I don't think Holiday Inn is technically a Christmas movie. It has to do with all the holidays, um, but it's mainly Christmas, so I like that one. And then I like White Christmas. And I also, my other, one of my other favorite Christmas movies is Elf. I, I just love that movie. It's hilarious. We watched it um, on Thanksgiving with my family. And it's the first time I've seen it in maybe like two years. And I just laughed hysterically throughout the whole thing. It's just so funny. And 
there were there were about 14 of us watching it and literally every scene someone would say oh this is my favorite scene oh I love this part and it's just the whole movie you're saying this it's just it's it's the best you got you you have to love elf it's just so funny all right number seven what is your favorite Christmas song hmm I tend to make fun of Christmas songs I mean I, I put on the Christmas music <laughs> But when you hear them over and over, they just kind of get repetitive. Let's see, what are some of my favorite songs, though? I like I like anything that Josh Groban sings, first of all. I mean, how can you not? What else do I like? I like Deck the Halls. I like the 12 Days of Christmas just because I like to sing that and annoy people, but I'm one of those obnoxious people. I'll sing that song over and over just to drive you crazy. Um, but... Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. What was your favorite gift that you've ever received? Um, I don't think I can think back to one particular gift that I've ever received that was like the best gift ever or anything. I usually, when I think of Christmas, I usually focus more on the gifts that I'm giving people, if that makes sense. Like, I love getting presents, obviously. I mean, who doesn't love getting presents? But... I feel like I put more thought into what I'm giving people, so, I don't know, there isn't really anything that stands out. As, um, what is your favorite Christmas memory? My favorite Christmas memory, um, probably from being a kid and, you know, just the excitement and the anticipation and... And I swear, one year, I must have been like five, I looked out my window and I like imagined like Santa's sleigh like riding in the... <laughs> I like looked out my... I heard jingle bells, I swear, this is real. I heard jingle bells, I looked out my window and I saw something like flying through the sky. Now, I don't know if this is like my crazy imagination, maybe I dreamed this, but I just remember like thinking... It's Santa! Like, I don't know, maybe someone was out there, like, pretending to be Santa. I don't even know, but I just remember that from being a kid, and I just love that memory. Because it's just so magical. <laughs> Alright, number 10. Does it snow where you live? Yes, it does snow where I live. It snowed, I'm from upstate New York, where it snows ridiculous amounts. Um... Now I'm down by um, New York City, so it snows a little less, but it snows. Usually not on Christmas, though. It usually snows, we get more snow in January. That's when it really starts to snow. Number 11. Do you own an ugly holiday sweater? Um, I don't think so, which makes me really sad. I should own an ugly holiday sweater. But, I have to show you this. And if you're watching, Teresa, my sister... Eh, I don't care. You can watch. Um, Cat, what are you doing? He's crazy. This is, I saw this at Target, and I bought this for my sister. And I knew she would love this. It says, this is my ugly Christmas sweater. So, I don't actually own this, but, because I'm giving it to my sister, but I own it right now. Does that count? She's getting it, though. I just knew she would love it, so... That's what it is. Teresa, that's your present. Ten. I think this is number ten. Hot chocolate or eggnog? Um, I would have to go with hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. I have been, probably for years now, this is weird, but for years now, I've been on the quest to find, like, the best hot chocolate recipe. And there is a coffee shop up by my house in upstate New York that really just makes an amazing hot chocolate. And I have yet to find one to compare it to. It's kind of sad. But um, I'm always making hot chocolate recipes. There might be a hot chocolate recipe coming soon to this vlog. So, Okay, and the last one is... Have you ever been kissed under the mistletoe? I don't think so. No. I don't buy mistletoe. I should buy mistletoe. No. I haven't. That's it. Alright, well, thank you for watching this Christmas tag um be sure to check out Callie's blog but first coffee I will um put a link to it somewhere maybe there maybe there I don't know click there um and yeah thanks for watching what number is this no
battery too low to power on. Ugh. Hey everyone, today I am doing the Christmas time is here tag. 